You know a lot about the people, the place, the language. What do we need to understand? Well, been there uh, multiple times. And what you need to understand about Uzbekistan is, first of all, Uzbeks are tough. In Central Asia, they are feared uh, by, by the others, uh, just as the Chechens are feared in the Caucasus and, and Russia by everyone else. They've been exporting jihad for a long time. Now, inside the country, since the, the decline of the Soviet Union when it became independent, uh, it's been ruled by dictators. Islam Karimov for over 20 years now, Miro, Mirza Yayev, a new guy. Uh, and they keep Islam under control through brutal means in Uzbekistan, but it results in the exporting jihadis. They've been fighting us in Afghanistan. They've been charter members of Al Qaeda. Uh, they very active in ISIS. And we think there are at least 2,500 to 3,000 Uzbeks working with ISIS and related groups. My own suspicion is it's 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 much higher than wow. that. Interesting. It, yeah. Um, let, let me just share with our viewers. But a country of about 30 million. Yeah. Uh, we a few couple. Of Quick facts on the country, country of 30 million on screen, 88% of the population is Muslim, mostly Sunnis, I mentioned a moment ago. Uh, we're suggesting no exact data on the number of Uzbeks who have joined ISIS. Um, you think yeah, 2,500 plus? Yeah, I'd say, well, I think at least 3,000. I think it's probably higher still. But let's say, you know, to put it in perspective, uh, 3,000 jihadis from Uzbekistan, that would be like over 30,000 jihadis from the United States. It's a significant number. Mm. And Uzbekistan, while Thanks to the dictatorship, it's a, it's a safe place to visit, and it's fascinating. Nonetheless, it's going to keep generating jihadis. And it, it, what amazed me, Bill, about this whole flap about the, the utterly insane diversity visa program, people are saying, well, it's not the fault of the program because he was radicalized here. This guy... <laughs> he fit the profile exactly of who is radicalized, young, unskilled Muslim males. That's what Europe's problem is. That's what our problem largely has been. And so this was crazy to let this guy into the country. Well, 